you look at the numbers, we are still going to be up this quarter more than 16% in the S&P. This is not the uh, straightforward a uh, happy ending to a quarter that everybody is used to. It, it, this is messy. This is how it gets when certain sectors do not correct, when uh, we have this showdown that's occurring with Congress and the presidency here in the United States. So that's about to get either one of two things. It's about to get more ugly or it's going to resolve itself with that stopgap measure. And we could talk more about that if you like, but uh, more importantly is that the market is now going to, how much more volatile is it going to react to these forces at play immediately? Or is it going to be something that keeps going all the way possibly till November? And that's a good question to which there's not an easy answer. For the forces that be, and for everybody involved, the smartest play would be to implement that stopgap measure in Congress. Just simply said, hey, we found, a t let's have a temporary wait before all this craziness starts. Uh, you know, so that way we're not laying off 40% percent of agencies. And then it really starts getting ugly and it's going to start affecting the markets and everywhere as a whole. So that's the first part. The second part you want to ask yourself, as a as an investor at this time, do I need to pull back and start raising some cash right now to look for opportunities, which is exactly what we're doing at this point, because we believe that there are going to be opportunities out there, that the market is going to shake itself, it shake itself out no matter what happens. So we want to make sure we're ready. We have our uh, resources marshaled and ready to go in that instance. We cannot control what happens with the government, but we can be prepared either way. And we raise cash on positions that we have a profit in, and we say to ourselves, "Okay, maybe this is a time we've had some. We've had our eye on some strategic pickups, some acquisitions." And maybe this is the time to take advantage of it. I'm not advocating for you to get out because, as you said, this could be a little late to the game and to, you know, to poke out. But if you do not have the powder dry to, uh, you know, use for your gun, then you got to get it from somewhere. And yes, you're going to have to make those tough decisions. But that being said, there is plenty of opportunity still in this market, it still has a lot of legs on it. In spite of what's going on, let's keep focused. This is not a time to panic. This is a time to think strategic. And the more strategic you are, the more money you're gonna make long-term. So yeah, it's gonna be a little scary right now because the volatility that could happen from a shutdown you know, you could see the market down in a, a thousand points in a day. You know, that's not, we've seen that before. Yes. And this has happened before, but this is scary from the standpoint that there are a lot of companies and the markets are exposed. So it's a little bit different and it will be more volatile. And, and your take cash out of winners. And the losers that you have in the portfolio that you don't believe are coming back anytime soon, yeah, you can declare a loss for the year to contract the winners. So that's another tactic that you should take if you're skittish at this particular point. And a lot of people are skittish at this time. If the shutdown actually occurs and by any stretch, they start laying off 40% of the employ government employees at agencies. It's going to get ugly, and it's going to get ugly fast. And we can, this is similar to black swan events, where there is not going to be a lot of places to hide or go with your cash, all right? Because the more it's like a contagion, I hate to use that word, you know, since we're in COVID right now, but it's like a contagion. The bad news starts spreading to every sector. It, it doesn't matter where you are. You know, this is that, and that's the point where you start seeing that black swan scenario, you know, where no matter what you do, 
it get it, you cannot escape this contagion. The politicians are going to be doing their thing. You as an investor need to be prepared and make your move. Now is the time. Don't sit on the fence. Don't not make any decisions at this time. This is the time. Step up and get in or get out. But either way, make a decision. Because you're going to look for somewhere. You're going to try. You're going to try to look for somewhere to put your money. And no matter where you go, if this is ugly, and it can get ugly, there's going to be no safe haven other than cash. But even there, you're losing to inflation every year. So there is no particular place to say, uh, you know, I got out and I'm happy. And, but then I want you to think of something. If you made the S&P made 16%, then you made 20% for this year. You know, and, but all of a sudden you decide to get out and you're out for a prolonged period of time. It affects your, port, your portfolio performance. You know, yeah, you had a little safety or what have you. But what if you took advantage of the low levels to make some high quality acquisitions? That's the move. That's being smart. The U.S. is the leader when it comes to the stock market. We're not going to Europe. We're not going to China. We're not going to any other place right now, as you've mentioned. So as a leader, we have our ups, we have our downs. This is just simply another thing that has to happen and the market has to correct itself. If I would be more concerned if the market did not correct itself. It is something that is normal. It is something that must occur you don't have to like it, but you definitely have to let it run its course. That way we can have an efficient market. 